but uh, there's a creek flowing I know we're moving way fast but if you can see that is a fresh water it's, it's snow melt it seems flowing down the mountains flowing down the valley So we have stopped for um, charge our Tesla. One thing which I have realized is charging stations here. It seems like Arizona has the largest number of supercharging stations per capita by the population and the largest number of um, what do you call the, the Teslas. There are so many Teslas running around here. Man, I mean when I'm standing there are like almost eight Teslas which are charging here. There's kind of houses, this view, I mean this terrain. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. So the red rock, everything, it's all granite. That's the bedrock of Arizona, but the one which you see all that sediments, that slimes on most likely because of the fossils. Traffic is very high today. I'm assuming it's like this for throughout the year. So we came up up the hill and the mountains are still covered with snow and it's beautiful. So yeah, this is the Oak Creek uh, Vista. That's a scenic point here. Man, it's beautiful. I mean, at least we have not seen this kind of land landscape um, uh, in a long time, probably because last we went was to Mount Rushmore, uh, black black forest. Um, there we saw uh, like nice, beautiful scenic trees and whatnot, uh, but not here. So, but this is. stores here people are actually native Indians selling items I, I, I asked if I can video they said no so I just respect that I'm not gonna just shoot them but this is something it's a Native American community action so yeah hello beautiful stuff <laughs> they make with hand I wish that's why the yeah, price <laughs> oh nice probably like 70 years old oh beautiful uh -huh. that's the reason that's a uh, pricey he was yeah. asking me in my ears is like why are they so pricey uh -huh. so I was like they're yeah. making they ma they're made so hand. those beads those bracelets see this is the size of the beads here oh wow so oh. those bracelets oh, that are is, literally yeah. done one bead at a time this is made by a uh -huh. no Navajo light lady who is 70 years old yeah her name is Carol Schmally so she makes those mm -hmm. that one has the feather design um, and the feathers the carrier of the dreams and prayers it's also for healing and blessings on those mm -hmm. the green color there is a symbol of healing so you can pick it here it has the feather design here the feathers the carrier of the dreams and prayers it's also for healing and blessings the colors of the green here is the healing color and then the color in the feathers are for protection it's the fire colors and then it's made by carol schmally she's a navajo artist and she's like 70 years old thank yeah. you uh -huh. that's a lot of information and mm -hmm. hands down those story card for it too oh, that'll be awesome yeah. <laughs> these things are these bracelets are so like so small beads uh -huh. um, it's it's worth it I feel like it's so beautiful very intricate designs
so what is the purpose of these? What you would want to do is put it above the front door so that way it's a symbol of protection. Wear them, okay. Are these anklets? Yes. Okay. It's just telling the stories to the child while they're sitting here within the monument, so it's in the monument valley. And so they're talking while it's just cooking. And then this, here's the lightning, so it's in the rainy season. And so um, it's where everything is regrowing. The backside, here's the monument. Here is the holy people, all the good around us, coming up as the mountains for abundance. And then it has like the petroglyph designs here. And then her hair, she always kept it um, tidy and in a bun because she didn't want her thoughts scattered. So that was, so it was to nice. keep her thoughts under control. What is it made of? It's made out of natural riverbed clay. Oh. So where I grew up, the area is well known for clay. So yeah, it's pieces black. like these okay. here and then the pipes, it takes them about two to three weeks to make. Wow. That is... That lady we started shopping, she was so nice, so nice. She helped. She she let me a video that she interviewed, she explained things, and we ended up buying a few bracelets for Ayush, which are handmade. So this is some information about the Canyon Women home, a dazzling era of life it seems. So there are a lot of flora and fauna around here. this canyon which you see all the way along here this canyon was for formed 45 million years ago um, and this was because of the sediments and the drift which has happened basically this is the board which I was showing you earlier um, this this is this there it is it says that the sediment of rocks in Oak Canyon were deposited over a span of 45 million years from late Pennsylvanian through Permian Geologic period. The most recent sedimentary rock formed the formation. Wow! Yeah, that's the basically the 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 Kaibab formation is approximately 255 million years old. From, like from the age of dinosaurs, probably, or even predates the age of dinosaurs. Going, we stopped by um, a small, like a pit stop, you could say, on the side of the road. There is a small creek flowing here, so I just wanted to step down and we'll go there. So this is the creek which I wish, uh, which we were. Which is just travels by the so side of the road, which I was showing. Our next destination. What is it called? Lakpak, right? Lakpak. <laughs> Lakpak. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm so sorry, but um, it starts with a T. L A Q U E P A Q U E. That's how it is spelled. Um, but it's it's like a um, what do you call it? artists and all that stuff. They sell different kinds of stuff, different kinds of paintings and artwork. Uh, it seems like there's a tea shop here. Um, they make tea with butter. 
So Jumu wanted to drink that and Vanna wanted to taste it, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna see. Um, and then then head back home. So anyway, so first let's go and see how this thing sounds. I don't even know what I don't even know what to expect on this one. So we'll see. There are some cafes here, that's where they sell the tea and then... So it's called Nava Pro Gallery. That's what it is. It's a very quaint, pretty place. You'll do it. Oh, I like it. There are a lot of sculptures around. There are nice, nice breweries and there are restaurants as well. Um, so these are the statues. This is Lord Buddha. And it's a beautiful, like probably 10 feet statue. It's way tall. And I am surprised to see Goddess Lakshmi here. store I guess because I can see a lot of Indian idol Indian gods Chai spot which you're talking about. Oh yeah. Do they have the butter chai? back home after a long day of trip um, so I think we're gonna call it a day super tired it was like a two and a half hour drive one way uh, to get and come back um, if you have liked this video so far please do give us a like share and subscribe thank you for watching and thank you for your time I will see you on the next vlog thank you bye